today I'm going to be doing a book review over Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. This is actually the third time that I've recorded this video. Uh, the first time my, my face wasn't in focus and the second time I had something in my teeth. So the third time I'm hoping will be a charm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So Three Dark Crowns is about um, a set of triplets who have, they each have a set of powers. Uh, Maribella is an elemental, Arsenoi is a naturalist, and Katarine is a poisoner. The queens are separated when they're six years old and they're raised by midwives. And once they become 16, they have to fight in a battle against each other for the crown. But they're not just fighting for the crown, they're fighting for their lives. So in order to win the crown, they have to kill their sisters to win the crown. I really liked how each different character had their own separate power. So Maribella's power is elemental and she can control earth, air, fire, and water. And then Katarine, her power is, um, she's a poisoner. So she can eat lots of poison and not get sick. And she can also make, she has like a talent for making different poisons to poison other people. And then Arsenal is a naturalist and naturalists have something called a familiar which is basically a pet that is really connected to them. They follow them around everywhere and when one is angry then the other is angry and then also they can like grow stuff and control natural things in the environment. I thought Kendar Blake did a really good job writing this novel. I think that it flowed really nicely and um, she I especially liked that she gave even minor characters a really in-depth description. So like Jules and Joseph, she really went into detail about them and their relationship and I really liked that. I think it drew together the main characters and the minor characters' relationships and made you feel um, like more towards that relationship. So as far as the characters went, I thought that Kim Dar Blake did a really good job making the reader really liked the characters that were supposed to be liked and I think she really made it easy for you to hate the characters that were supposed to be hated. So people like Jules and Joseph and all the queens, they were really likable, except for Katarine. I kind of, I don't know, I feel like she could have gone a little more in depth with Katarine's character, but um, like I feel like she was mostly bland and like you got a real good sense of like what she looked like but not who she was as a person. But all the other characters I think she did a really good job on describing them and giving you an image in your mind of what they looked like and who they were as a person. So I really liked the characters in this book. There were a few cons in this book. For example, the description of the book is a little misleading. I feel like the description made you think there was going to be a lot more action than there actually was in this big huge battle against each other and there was some action in it but I feel like there should have been more because the description made you think that there was going to be a ton of action. I still really liked this book, don't get me wrong, but I just think that there should have been a little, a little different wording as far as the description goes. Also, there were a few points in the book that were kind of slow, so I think there was probably like three or four parts where I was like, oh, this is getting kind of boring, but then something would happen that would draw me back into the story, and then I'd be like, oh, okay, this is cool. I'll keep reading. But I do think that there were some slow parts, which I didn't like. I think that she could have kept the story going at a fast pace instead of slowing it down and then throwing something at you where you were like, oh my gosh. So overall, I really did like this book. I gave it a four out of five stars. I thought that the plot was really awesome. I really liked the idea of the story and the queens having to battle each other for the title and not only that, but having to kill each other for the title of queen. And then um, I thought it was a really fast read. It only took me a couple days to read it. And I also really liked how the story ended. There was a cliffhanger and it was to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this just happened. I can't believe the book ended like that. There better be another book or I'm going to be really mad and really upset. But I think that it ended good enough to keep you on reading the story and I'm definitely going to pick up the second one when it comes out. If there is one, I'm not sure if there is. 
I'm assuming there is. If not, I'd be really mad. So if you know that there's going to be a second one, leave me a comment below letting me know because I'd love to know. I did like how in the story too there was a couple parts that were really intense. There was one part where I teared up a little bit, which doesn't usually happen to me. I don't. I doesn't. I don't do that a lot. There's only been a couple books that I've ever read that have made me cry. So this one, there was a part, and it has to do with Elizabeth. So if you read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. And yeah, it was crazy. So that is it for my review on the Three Dark Crowns. Again, I did really like it, and I would recommend reading it. It was different and exciting, and I definitely think you should read it. Also, I did want to mention that I'm holding a contest on my blog, so if you're interested in that, it's for the book When the Moon Was Ours. If you're interested in that, I'll put the um, link in the description below for my blog, and you can check that out and all the details of how to enter and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching my video, and I will post another video later this week, and I'll see you later. Bye!